what's up what's up everyone i am heading back to that little canal that i went to that night or late late evening where all the bats were at i'm actually gonna fish it during the day now and see what i can get out of there hopefully uh i get some good bass um it's 93 degrees and while i'm fishing i'm gonna go over the equipment i use so you guys are aware other than that let's get to the fishing So I'm here. I'm gonna have to cross the street real quick. But first, I I got the GoPro uh, waterproof housing here. So I'm gonna switch it up so you guys can hear me better when I'm talking. Especially, I'm gonna go over the equipment and stuff like that. So uh, hang tight. All right, so I'm over here. In the like on the high bridge. I want to get over in that side over there. All right, let's go somewhere else. Okay, right, there, there's a hole right there that I can probably get into. Let's give it a shot. And the water looks murky. Oh, wow. Guys, don't try this at home. All right, so anyways, let's get to uh, what I use for rod. My rod is a Vexen rod. Uh, you can go to vexenrod.com to purchase one if you're interested, but it's a seven foot heavy. Uh, I like seven plus. I, I do have a couple of uh, six, six, uh, medium heavy but this is the rod it's called vixen rod again um, my reel was actually uh, a combo that I bought it was a medium I think it's a medium heavy Abu Garcia combo um, and it's the black max uh, reel so that's what I use for my line I use power pro uh, 50 50 pound braided line. Dang, what's going on? That lady's watching me. Uh, 50 pound braided line. That's because I I did a challenge this year for 10 pound bass. And usually, uh, I like uh, what I'm doing now is playing with the vegetation because especially in the heat, they like shaded areas. So vegetation would. Uh, be the the perfect uh, place for a big giant bass all right guys so it didn't work out I did see uh, tilapia there actually the temperature of the weather bumped up to 95 degrees welcome to Florida uh, I gotta make a quick stop at the office real quick and uh, take care of some business and then uh, I'll be back in just a moment a few moments later all right guys i'm back that was quick um i am on the way to this place around lake buena vista all right so this is it we're gonna see what happens oh i'll go over there then no i mean you can't fish here in this lake oh you guys own this yeah we own the lake we own this lake Oh, okay. I thought it was part of uh, the state. Mm -hmm. No, county. This, is, this is our property. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. No, I know there's a few other lakes around. I don't know who 
That's fine. I didn't catch anything here anyways. Sorry. Sorry. All right. No, sorry. Right. All right, so I got kicked out. I didn't catch anything anyways. I mean, if I caught like a big one, I would have argued with her because I came from uh, this side and they don't own this side. They do not own this side. That's just uh, by law. But I didn't catch anything. So uh, I, I didn't want to argue with the lady. As soon as I got to the spot I wanted to go, there's no bass there, man. All right, so I cannot find any other pond around. Um, I'm going to double check my GPS and then see what I can do. I really, 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 really want to catch a fish uh, for you guys and stuff. So, All right, guys, so I'm going to try this one here. It looks kind of murky or whatever or whatnot, but um, you never know. Got some lily pads over there and some rocks, so uh, switching to GoPro. I really think there's no fish here, but uh, uh, I could be wrong. All right, so no luck here. I don't know what to tell you guys, man. I'm trying, I'm trying for you guys to get a big dog, but fortunately, it's just not working out today. Now, you know, these little canals and little ponds and stuff, like, um, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, I used to live in Celebration. And down the road there, at the end of the, uh, the street, there was a small, small, small pond. Like, super small. And the neighbor goes, dude, there's no fish there. I fished there before. I never caught anything. Next thing you know, literally like five, ten minutes later, I bag a freaking like a three, three and a half pound bass out of a small lake or pond, I should say. I also caught another one, which I couldn't even uh, identify the weight because my digital scale went out, but she was pretty fat and big. So, I mean, it could have been an eight. It could have been it could have been anything thanks for watching guys and uh be safe out there don't forget to subscribe like this if you like it um that's it Peace. all right so i don't like leaving home without at least one i caught one today bad today was bad one This spot that I went to last is actually a spot that I used to fish years ago. And it's like the bass turned vegetarian because I saw a nice maybe three pounder swimming around. And I cast everything but the kitchen sink at it. And it's like, mm, you know, I swim by it. On the way home, and I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. See, I almost closed it out and I was like you know what I cannot go home without one there's got to be one out there that's hungry and I found it now I'm going home so other than that I'll see you guys either tomorrow or Sunday all right y'all so I'm out thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and I'm out peace